What is up, Bronco fans? Justin here with ExtremeTerrain.com. Yes, it is SEMA 2022. Last year, the Bronco took over the show. This year, we're anticipating the same exact thing. We got crazy stuff behind us. We got a lot of stuff to check out inside, so what do you say we get after it? All right, guys, so we had to come over and see our boy Vaughn Gittin Jr. and the Project X team. They have a big reveal here at SEMA 2022, something they've been working on for a little while. It looks absolutely massive underneath this cover. We got Lauren Healy's Ultra 4 rig right next to it, and this thing actually just dwarfs it in every way. So uh, they're getting ready to pull the cover off this thing. Let's check it out. You guys ready to see this thing? <laughs> yeah. All right. Here it is guys, in the flesh, the Fun Haver LT. The LT, of course, for long travel. Uh, this thing, he says, is built for the 1% of madmen like Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Lauren Healy who just absolutely thrash their rigs in every single way. And it's built for battle. So let's take a closer look at this thing and show you what I'm talking about. So here you go. Appearance-wise, you can see you're getting the same kind of Fun Haver flares that we saw in the Fun Runner last year. And those puppies are doing their best to hide these absolutely gigantic 42 inch Nodo Trail Grapplers here, guys. 16 inches of travel up front, 18 inches of travel in the rear with the 42s in place, portal axles, uh, absolutely incredible Ultra 4 style suspension. Let's get a look at the goods there underneath. You can see the portal axles. You can see the massive two and a half inch Fox shocks up front, three inch in the rear. Fun Haver style front bumper with the winch capabilities. Got the RTR grill package there. B-lock wheels, which are just sick. I really love the orange accents. Here's the Fun Haver off-road rock sliders. These things are tucked real high and tight. Vaughn was just talking to me about that. RTR stuff's gonna be functional, but also have a little bit of form to it. There's more of a step. Fun Haver, on the other hand, this is just built for battle. Uh, and again, tucked really high and tight up against those lower rockers. Let's take a look at the inside here, guys. Recaro's all over the place, as you can see. Very, very sick stuff. All right, kind of found our way to the back here, guys, to get a better look at things like the Fun Haver bumper, high clearance, of course. And just look at the stance. 42s, those massive flares. Really get a sense of how big this thing is. Here's a reference. This is Lauren Healy's Ultra 4 4400 class uh, rig and it is being dwarfed by this thing here, the LT. Here's a better look at the three O's in the back. Bump stops, 10 inch spider tracks diff in the back. Everything is built for absolute abuse here with the Fun Haver LT. All right, part of the big appeal about SEMA is obviously seeing the new and cool products. It's more than just builds, uh, but it's kind of both, right? So a perfect example of this is in the Alpha Rex booth. We do sell a lot of good stuff from Alpha Rex uh, on some of our other sites, including here at ExtremeTerrain.com. Bronco fans, let's check out some of their new headlight options for your rig. And as you can see here, this is a full LED projector baked in. There's some sequential uh, functionality here with the lights. As you can see, a cool startup pattern. They fade out, and then there you go. You got your signature lighting. A really big fan of those, and also having the built-in projectors. Another cool thing with these lights is that there are switchbacks. So basically, that bright white daytime running light that you see sequencing now also changes to amber. So here you go, guys. This is your sequential turn signals with the Bronco lighting. Very, very cool. Love the quad projectors. I think they look awesome on the truck. There we go, and you see you got the turn signals built in with the switchback lighting. So if you'd missed out on signature lighting, or even if you grab signature lighting with your Bronco, and you just want to kick things up a notch, definitely check out the stuff from the guys over at Alpha X. All right, guys, so the motto of Fab Fours, at least with this particular Bronco, is be prepared, right? And I think that's safe to say here with this Bronco. We got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Now, a lot of people think Warren, well, they make killer winches. Well, they also make some pretty killer wheels. Check these things out, guys. Big fan of that design. Of course, the BFG 37s wrapped around there. Fab Tech lift, we've got the Dirt Logic coilovers on this thing. I would say probably a good solid three to four inch lift kit to fit the 35s underneath from BFG. Fab 4s, as we know, make really killer bumpers, and this is equipped with one of their winch capable bumpers. We got the worn Xeon winch on there, Factor 55. 
with the rope guard. The Ultra Hook had one of those on my Raptor, loved it. Also a big fan of the tube doors. Now we haven't seen a lot of these come out yet, but they are all gearing up here. These are the Ford Performance options. They look really killer, give you that open air experience. And then of course, be prepared. Well, this thing is prepared for whatever activity you want to do. You want biking, you want kayaking, camping. Well, you got it there. Let's take a closer look again at the rear of the truck here. Fab fours, we saw the bumper up front. Well, they have the matching rear in place as well. D-ring capable, all that good stuff. I'm also a big fan of the wrap on this thing. So there you go, guys. Fab fours. Fabtech, Factor 55, Warren Winches, just a killer combo here at SEMA 2022. Well, I finally stumbled across my first Bronco Raptor here at the show, and this one's been done up pretty well. So let's take a closer look at this thing. Definitely not stock by any means, uh, especially when we're talking about appearance. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, so we're in the Max Slider booth here, as you can see. This is the Clydesdale, it's called. Vision X Max Slider. As you can see, we got the Bronco Raptor stuff going on up front, but you can see we got a pretty gnarly front bumper on this thing. And the biggest change with this particular rig, those massive flares, well, they've been color matched, or at least painted to match the front bumper here on this particular truck with the brush guard. Um, not the biggest fan of the wheels, to be completely honest, but I really like the graphics going on on this thing. The white and gray is just really, really sick. It's neat to see a, a Raptor here done up in this way and just kind of a little different. One of my favorite things about this truck might just be the interior now. I don't know, I'm a big fan of this kind of like rugged camel leather. I know it's like, oh man, it's a Raptor. It has a really sick interior has from the factory, but I really like this combo with the white. I think it looks dope actually. There you go, you got some really cool stuff going on. But here you go, I think the Bronco Raptor again with painted flares Pretty gnarly brush guard on it. It's a good look. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, guys, so we're in Truck Heroes booth right now, checking out one of their Broncos equipped with a ton of stuff from Havoc Off-Road. Again, talking about those new products that we mentioned uh, throughout this video. That's what SEMA is all about, right? It's not just cool builds. Kind of is, but it's also new products. Uh, so let's check out the Havoc Off-Road rig behind me, because there's some stuff I think you guys might really dig. Let's check it out. Guys, starting up front, the AVS hood protector, but with the lighting baked in. How cool is that? Um, obviously, we know how much of a bitch rocks, rock chips and bugs and all that stuff can be on the front leading edge of the hood. But if you can actually incorporate those really cool, almost Raptor-esque lights into that, um, it's awesome. I really like that. But also, we're taking a look here at the Havoc off-road front bumper, winch capable. Uh, high clearance, as you can see, they got the Rugged Ridge winch mounted up in there. They also got some lighting going on. This is kind of like, hey, you want lighting, you want a winch, you want high clearance, you want a bull bar, we got you fam. Beadlock capable wheels here, as you can see there. Really digging the tube doors. Bolt-on style flares here, as you can see. Also, can't forget about the Superlift six inch kit here. As you can see, they got the drop rackets for your front and rear diffs, of course, or at least your front diff, I should say. Also looking at a pretty gnarly skid plate there. I really like the fastback style soft top going on with the two door. Got the Sunrider option, so you can just flip that back. You know, two door owners, you don't really get that opportunity to have a soft top that you can flip open, take advantage of some sunlight, all that good stuff, but also still keep a soft top. It's hard top or bust, right, for you two door owners, and that's not a bad thing, but I think the fastback look with the Sunrider feature, very awesome. Taking a look inside again, not a ton going on here, but I do want to talk about the Havoc off-road tube doors. Uh, Ford was kind of slow to market with those initially. I think a lot of people have been clamoring for them. Well, here you go, guys. You got that along with the Havoc off-road steps. So all in all, um, Truck Hero booth, as you'd imagine, a lot of cool new products going on for every kind of truck, Jeep, Bronco, but really digging the Havoc off-road goodies and the AVS wind deflector or hood protector there. Big fan. So when I go home and people ask me, how was SEMA? What was it like? What's the build quality like out there? Is it gnarly off-road stuff? Is it kind of show truck stuff? Well, if you want a good idea of what you see out here predominantly, uh, here it is, guys. Check this thing out. This is the Mud Digger off-road Bronco in all 
I would say two feet of lift. <laughs> this thing is on like 26 inch wheels, 42 inch tires. Everything is powder coated. Give you a better sense of that suspension underneath. We've got the old Bluetooth front drive shaft. As you can see, it's currently not running one. <laughs> I mean, this is it. This is SEMA excess in a nutshell. Now, I don't want to take anything away from this build because obviously somebody put a lot of time, definitely a lot of money into this thing. Certainly not for everybody. And uh, you know, this isn't just Broncos. The truck aftermarket scene here at SEMA is pretty much all like this. Just monstrous lifts, huge chrome wheels, powder coated suspension components, just not very usable stuff. Does it look cool to somebody out there? Sure. I mean, is it certainly worthy of, you know, some praise? Absolutely. Uh, is it for me? Well, probably not. And I imagine most of you guys watching at home, this probably isn't your favorite type of build out here at SEMA. All right, guys, so I'm a child of the 80s. I don't know if I care to admit that or not, but when I was a kid, the surf style, the hyper color, the neon colors, it was all the rage. So I would say eight-year-old me is absolutely loving this Bronco behind me. Straight out of the 80s with this color combination. Uh, it's almost, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's so bad it's good. Uh, let's check it out a little bit further. I'll show you what I'm talking about here, guys. Look at this thing. I absolutely love this. Um, I have my flame suit on. I'm sure I'm gonna get killed for saying that. But look at this thing. Again, if you're like Miami Vice, 1980s then you are like me and are loving this thing just neon retro vibes everywhere on this two door the light bars even look at this it's got like this blue tint going on with the light itself in addition to the windows the yeah, you know, there's your miami vice graphics right there pretty much and the neon pink colors same thing with the light bar up front even down low you know they got the suspension all powder coated neon pink and everything maybe one of my favorite parts about this thing so you get the fleck in the wheel here I love that just splatter paint again if you're a fan you know like me of the 80s or born in the 80s and you're growing up and Miami Vice was all the rage the neon colors yeah maybe you know you might think it's hideous today but this to me is total nostalgia and I'm loving every bit of it. All right, guys, so if you remember, we showed you the Bronco Raptor done up by the Max Slider Bros uh, over in West Hall. The thing was very sick. Well, I'm cruising over here in South Hall, and I think I stumbled across something even better, also done by the Max Slider Bros. It's their first gen, and it's not just any first gen, so let's take a closer look. Guys, what you are looking at here is the first ever, basically, first gen four door Bronco. So this is a 68 and what they did was they built a completely custom frame. They stretched it out. They made custom B pillars here because these rear doors, if you could see, your hinges are right here. It's actually a suicide rear door, normal front door. But look how long and gorgeous this thing is, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Got some big BFG 37s on this thing. Curry front and rear axles. And if you notice, we showed you the interior of the Bronco Raptor, and this is the same exact kind of stipled grain, dark leather, coffee, whatever the hell you want to call it, texture. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Sean. Sean's gonna show us the suicide door. Oh, he even got the power steps on it. I love it, dude. So there you go, guys. Suicide doors for the rear. The Max Slider liners. Look at just the attention to detail with this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. So just very, very beautiful. One of two four-door first gens in the world. This was the first. Power in this beast is very special too. Let's go check that out. Under the hood, it just keeps getting better. What you're looking at is a Crate Coyote engine here topped off with the Ford Performance, the Roush TVS 2.3 liter supercharger, backed by the 6R80 transmission. This thing's making all the power and just looks absolutely killer. But again, one more time here. Just how gorgeous this line is. There you go, guys. Seeing something special here at SEMA 2022. The first ever four-door 68 and one of two currently in the world. Well, guys, there you go. Another SEMA in the books for us here at ExtremeTrain.com for all of the cool Broncos from the show. 
Uh, guys, there is a ton to see. I would say outside of like bro trucks and classic muscle, the Bronco again was the vehicle of the show. As always guys, we wanna hear from you. Which Bronco was your favorite from this video? Drop us a comment and let us know. And hey, if you dig the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate it. In the meantime, from Vegas, I'm Justin. Remember, for all things Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTrain.com.